Andi, the netline is one of the signature products of B+. Can you tell me why we call it the Swiss Army Knife of Automotive Ethernet Development? Sure, Simone. The netline itself, it's a development tool. So, you know, everybody working in the environment of automotive Ethernet, from in-vehicle recording, um, software, hardware development on the ECU, in replay farms, in, in production sites um, for cable harnesses, for example. For everybody, the netline could be a very useful tool. So there are many functionalities integrated into one device, and that's why we call it the Swiss Army Knife. Okay, so we have the operation mode media converter, we mm -hmm. have the operation mode network tab, and we use it as a cable tester. Mm -hmm. That's what I know, but I'm very curious about how it works. Okay, then let's have a look. So the first feature I would like to show you is the media converter. Media converter means it connects the world of standard Ethernet with automotive Ethernet. So in, in our case, you see here the typical connectors, interfaces of standard Ethernet, as you know it also from the PCs. And on the other side, you see automotive, uh, the automotive Ethernet interfaces of the netline. So what is the netline doing? It's just converting the data. So the data coming from, an, for example, ECU, so somebody working with an ECU in the automotive Ethernet um, development uh, would like to connect a standard laptop with his ECU. He has the possibility here, here he connects the ECU, and on the other side he connects his standard PC. So that's the way to communicate with a standard laptop, PC, mm -hmm. desktop with um, an ECU, for example. Okay, so, you, so we have different devices, but um, how does then the configuration work? Well, the configuration itself, there are two ways of configurations. So one configuration is with the DIP switches, so this means you don't need real software to do the configuration. So, for example, when you have the netline in the vehicle, where you don't have a, a laptop or where you don't have a display available, you can do the configuration directly here. Or the other way is to have a user web interface, as you can see it here also. So, connecting with the management port, it's an Ethernet port, standard Ethernet port, and then do the uh, the configuration via the web interface of the device. So quite easily, quite, quite easy to handle. Another operating mode of the netline is the network tap. Tapping means monitoring the communication of, for example, to automotive Ethernet ECUs. So if we take this as an example, you have on the one hand an automotive Ethernet ECU, here another automotive Ethernet ECU, you connect both to the netline they are talking through the netline to each other, so there is no influence um, on the communication by the netline to them. And on the other side, where you have the standard Ethernet interfaces, you can connect your developer's laptop or desktop, and you can decouple the, um, the, the data streams of the communication which is taking place through the ECUs. So this is being used for doing the analysis um, of the communication. How good is the communication? Is there maybe a problem? Is maybe an ECU not working? Then you see it immediately on your desktop where you do the development if there is a problem. And very important in this case is that there is no influence of the device, of the media converter into the communication. It's working on physical layer one. So there is, um, it's acting as a passive device. And in addition, there is very low latency. So there is no influence of the netline into the communication. The netline is on the one hand a media converter and also a network tab. Mm -hmm. As you said, it could be also a cable tester, like for cables like this. Mm -hmm. I can imagine that when you develop something, it's very important that you have reliable and secu secure cables. Can you give me an insight how it works to test these cables? Sure, sure, Simone. It's a good point. Of course, during development, you need uh, good quality in the cables or good, uh, good cables, but also in the production, you know, for companies producing the cable harnesses, which are in the vehicles, it's essential that the cables are in good conditions. And for, for that, the, our cable tester is a very good feature. It's quite simple. I can show you here. It gives, it gives you information about 
the channels, which channels are available, what is the status of the channels, what is the length of the cable, uh, the polarity and the status. So it means, okay, for example, the, the cable is terminated, like in our setup here, or it is open. Especially the point length gives, gives a good indication. For example, if there is a, a cable break, Normally you see it here in the length then that there is maybe a problem. You see, I don't know, seven, eight meters, maybe um, the cable normally is longer. You see it immediately, hey, there is something wrong with the cable. Mm -hmm. So quite easily to use um, and really, let's say, um, a very use, useful tool for developers, but also in production. One additional feature is um, of the netline. You can also um, implement it directly in the production test. Mm -hmm. So there you, it's programmable, fully programmable, and it can be introduced directly in the end of production tests for, uh, for cable harnesses, for example. So very useful, and yeah, I think a, a, good, a good tool for developers, but also in production lines. Okay, cool. So let me conclude this. We have the NetLion as our Swiss army knife of automotive ethernet development for the operating mode media converter to connect the worlds between automotive ethernet mm -hmm. and standard ethernet we have the operating mode network tab to do some um, tests on the uh, on different devices mm -hmm. and we have the function for table testing mm -hmm. exactly so many features in only one device and the feature sets are growing just recently, for example, we introduced the um, automotive Ethernet test modes, which are now available. We're also very brand new. And yeah, feature set is growing and yeah, it's it's a Swiss army knife. Yeah, it's, it has to be on the on the desk of a developer. <laughs>